Hi, everybody. It's Marianne Cashman with William Ravis Real Estate in the source of the source. And I am super excited and honored today to have with me Sally Fernmore from the, who is the Director of Operations for the North Andover Merchants Association. Hi, Sally. And Sally, um, before I go on, is uh, like royalty to me because I knew her sister Gail from years ago when we worked together um, doing events in Boston. So I'm a little nervous today, Sally. So <laughs> bear with me, okay? <laughs> Sally, do you want to talk a little bit about um, you and a little bit about how you got involved with the Merchants Association? Sure. Um, so as you said, I'm currently the Director of Operations for the Merchants Association. Um, my husband and I moved to North Andover about 16 years ago. Uh, we have two teenage boys, and I became involved with the Merchants Association three years ago when I took on the role of the artisan market at the mills chairperson um, when we started the, the new artisan market, which awesome. is the farmer's market that the yeah. Merchants Association also runs. So the Merchants Association is um, an organization in our town, and we are dedicated to the promotion and growth of all of the business community in North Andover. Um, we're growing, we are um, working within the community, working with town officials, and really trying to promote all of our businesses as much as we can, especially during this time with the pandemic. So. Yeah. And that's exactly why, Sally, I wanted us to chat today. Um, as you know, I'm a local realtor here in town, but I recently have been doing a lot of shop local series and I most recently just started this YouTube channel called The Source of the Source. And my intent for The Source of the Source is to connect people to local happenings and what's going on so that it's another avenue that we can all support each other. So thank you so much for again joining me today. So we have restaurant week coming up, which is super exciting. It starts on Sunday and runs through Friday, correct? Is correct, yes. And um, and now, I will just say, again, I know everybody is out there supporting our local businesses. So, you know, um, any time of the year, we should all be out there getting takeout, eating in if we feel comfortable with that, but definitely remember the takeout. But why don't you talk a little bit about Restaurant Week and who's participating? Sure. So we really wanted to focus on doing it during this time of the year because I think this is when our restaurants are most struggling. Um, in the warmer months, a lot of them have outdoor seating and so they have the option of, of really having people come to the restaurant all the time. And I think during February and March, those are probably for a lot of people, the two months where people tend to hibernate and they don't come out and, and, and necessarily are comfortable, not everybody's comfortable going into the restaurants at this point. So we really wanted to, um, to highlight even for a week of really trying to promote our restaurants as much as possible. So we have 11 restaurants in North Andover participating. The Loft, Orzo, Casablanca, Shoddy's, Sal's Pizza, The Green Apple Cafe, Burton's, Rolf's Pub, Joe Fish, Nora's Kitchen, and Dicor. And basically what we've organized um, and we'll be posting on our Facebook page and also our website is two separate menus. One is the $20 and 21 cent menu, which will feature, sometimes it's an entree dessert and a salad. Sometimes it's an entree and a, you know, an appetizer, depending on what the business wants to do, but that's one of the specials. And then there will also be a menu for um, family meal deals because we know a lot of people, it's expensive to go out to a restaurant feeding a family. And this way it gives them the opportunity to provide just one meal for their family that is you know, typically at a, at a less cost than, than buying four separate meals from a restaurant. This is such a great idea and a wonderful opportunity to, again, remind everybody to get out there, but I really applaud you and the Merchants Association, but also then these restaurants for coming up with these menus to help people during these times, because it does get tough. Um, you know, I know all of us, right, are usually in January, February paying off the holiday bills and, you know, so I think it really does um, mean a lot to our community that you're considering that and the restaurants are thinking about that. And also on that note, let's talk for a second about the virtual tip jar, which I thought was brilliant. I was, used to be a bartender years ago, a waitress. So I thought that was so great, Sally, that you guys thought about the staff. So talk about that a little bit. I think, you know, as much as restaurants have been impacted, their employees have obviously been impacted as well. And even though servers are working, they are not servicing as many tables as they used to because capacity limits are in place. And 
is they may not have the number of hours that they used to have because some restaurants have cut back on their hours and things like that. So we wanted to give the public an opportunity to help support the servers as well. And so we have set up a virtual tip jar. So on our Facebook page and our website, there's a QR code that you can scan with your phone, make a donation with your credit card super easy um anything is is more than welcome but whatever money whatever proceeds are raised will be divided up um evenly amongst the 11 participating restaurants that they can share with their servers that is awesome that is awesome and again another way that the community can give back to these these restaurants and their staff um and then uh lastly what about those prizes i saw that you have some prizes can you tell us about those Absolutely. Sure. So everybody likes uh, to be enticed a little bit to, to participate in something. So what we're asking is that if you get any food, it could be takeout, it could be dine-in, delivery, whatever you get from these participating restaurants, if you post a photo of it on our Facebook page or our Facebook event page, um, you'll be entered into a couple different contests. So each night from Sunday to Thursday, anybody who posts during those nights, we will draw two winners um, at random who will get a restaurant gift certificate. And then on Friday, anybody who has posted throughout the week will be entered in and we have a grand prize of this fabulous patio heater um, which we know people are spending more time outside um, and especially as as the months get a little bit warmer um, you know we're hoping that people will want to get outside even earlier than they normally do um, and that was so generously donated by CGR Mechanical um, to help our restaurants as well so we thank them. They are sponsoring this restaurant week aren't they? Correct, yes. Oh, that's awesome, that is great. What a great prize. And uh, you know, I, I, again, I think you've touched on a lot of things here that again, as a community, we can, um, you know, a great opportunity to, so much of what's happening now is on social media. So by people taking pictures of their item that they just brought home or they've done dinner, whatever it may be, can help spur. And I have to say those 11 restaurants like all my favorites. So I look forward to uh, eating out quite a bit this week and, uh, and supporting uh, the North End of restaurants. So yes, and our um, all the menus will be posted um, later this week, so you'll be able to see what their specials are and kind of plan your menu according to the week. So awesome, Sally! Thanks. Thank you so much for joining me today okay. and talking about Restaurant Week. And uh, tell Gail I said hi. Okay, I will. For having me. on the restaurants. You're welcome. Take care. Bye bye.